raw life tariffs and people that I come across in prison whilst I was serving my sentence I was doing whole life tariff. I've just spoke about another one there that was doing a whole life tariff and on this one um, I should have done a little bit more research before I've uploaded this actually because I'm just going off what I remember and, um, and if you do google it there is more of a story on it I should have actually look at the story so I get get more facts but I'll just tell you what I remember whilst I was in Franklin serving my time when I come across Malcolm Green and Malcolm was from Wales if I remember rightly he was doing a whole life tariff now a whole life tariff is a sentence that gets passed to the people who's committed the most heinous crimes uh, and the crimes are deemed so despicable that the only sentence that they can pass is a whole life tariff and a whole life tariff is life without the possibility of parole now Malcolm Green where he was called Mac when we were in Franklin yeah, he used to work in the kitchens he, he looked like Ed Gein or fucking yeah, oh, what was he called? I can't remember the film it was off. No, it wasn't a film, it was a uh, serial killer from America. He looked like a bit like him. Um, he used to walk with a limp. He had a little squint. He was a horrible looking bloke, to be honest with you. Um, not a lot of people had much to do with him. Not, not many people spoke to him because of what he was in for. Um, and he killed, I believe, he murdered two murdering tourists I don't know if he'd done them both at the same time but he killed he killed um, some tourists I can't even remember where they're from you'll have to google it um, and what he done was he chopped them up and put them in a suitcase I'm sure it was two women that he'd done it to he was fucking uh, he kidnapped them and he chopped them up, murdered them and chopped them up, put them in a suitcase and tried to hide them. But um, he was uh, he was in there when I was there, uh, he used to work in the kitchens. Like I say, he was just there. Uh, there was only a couple of people that spoke him because he was... He should have really been on the nuts rings to be honest with you, but because he was up on them wings and he was quite... Well, he was an old bloke. Um, people just fucking sort of let him as long as he didn't bother nobody else and he just kept out the way like I say he didn't associate with anybody many people there was a couple one or two that spoke to him only because they probably felt sorry for him because he was an old bloke but um, he just kept out the way like I say kept out the way of everyone and everyone just let him be but he was serving a whole life tariff killed two people chopped them up fucking I see I never spoke to him. People like that, you just give a wide berth because they're fucking pieces of shit, really. But yeah, uh, that's it for that one, people. If you like the content, remember to like and subscribe. I'll be uploading more videos soon. Take care, everybody.